So, let us take some simple uh, examples and see what goes on before it gets uh, too messy with more algebra. So, uh, uh, throughout let us keep using uh, you know the, the simplest possible circuit which is a first order RC network right. If this is a sinusoid and this is R and this is C and R is fixed and C is fixed, uh, what comment can you make about uh, uh, the output? Well, this is a sinusoid, so the output will also be some sinusoid right, uh, uh, you should assume that that is a sinusoid. Uh, the magnitude is fixed and the phase shift with respect to some arbitrary reference is also fixed. Hmm? Okay. Now, let us now make this a time, a linear time varying network. So, now what I am going to do is, is vary this resistance say like this. Right. So, the resistance was constant for a long time and then I, I pulled it down. So, this is R of t. So, what do you expect qualitatively to happen? You, I, the input is a sinusoid at some frequency. What do you expect to, uh, to see at the output? Pardon? So, basically, before, I mean, if, if uh, the R of t did something like this, then the output would have been some sinusoid all the way up to here, then here some weird stuff happens, then here what should expect to happen? What, I mean, let me just make things. What do you expect to happen here? Pardon? I mean, once uh, I mean uh, you've uh, settled in here, well, the sinusoid must. Exp I mean, you would expect that all the transients have died down, and what you see is a sinusoid who, uh, uh, whose amplitude is the resistance is reduced, correct? And the capacitance is the same, so the effective bandwidth of the circuit has. The bandwidth of that RC low pass filter, if you want to think about it that way right has increased. If the bandwidth is increased, you should expect that the, the envelope of this, uh, the sine wave must, must increase and what comment can you make about the phase shift? Will it remain the same as it was, be, I mean will it simply be the same sine wave with a larger amplitude or do you expect the phase shift also to have changed? You expect the phase shift also to change with time, correct? Okay, so uh, you will see something like this, and then again it will you know come back to its old self, hmm? right? And uh, sure enough, if you uh, so here is an example, all right. So this is uh, R of t, and uh, when R goes uh, goes down you expect uh, the bandwidth to increase uh, and therefore, the output should be expected to increase, right. It is not apparent here that the phase shift uh, of this sinusoid with reference to the input is different from the phase shift of, uh, of that sinusoid uh, and uh, to therefore, find h of j 2 pi f comma t, what should we do? I mean, if I wanted to plot the actual you know gain and phase experienced by the uh, I mean uh, if I wanted to find the gain and phase <coughs> of this of this uh, <coughs> of this time varying system uh, what should we do? <coughs> what would you do? Yeah I mean what we just discussed right now so basically we exit it with cos and sin and use uh, <coughs> the formula we derived namely the real part is w i times cos minus uh, plus uh, w q times sin and uh, the imaginary part is 
W Q times cos minus W i times sin. And uh, so I went ahead and did, did that. Yeah, so this is an example where uh, oops. so R of t varies as you can see here, and uh, you can see that the envelope of the sine wave uh, does indeed increase with uh, you know, eventually once the r becomes small you can see that the envelope actually increases right and uh, it turns out that in this case uh, uh, the um, what do you call uh, the bandwidth initially is 1 hertz right and uh, finally the bandwidth uh, uh, is if you look at it I think it is uh, 1 eighth of a hertz or something like that right it is the resistance has gone from 1 ohm to 0.125 or something like that right. So, the bandwidth has gone from you know 1 radian per second to 8 radians per second and uh, uh, since in the beginning uh, you can see that the sinusoid is, uh, is significantly attenuated right that is uh, you know at, at some frequency and there is some phase shift uh, and uh, the uh, so since the 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 magnitude is significantly smaller than what you put in uh, I mean the input is a uh, 1 volt sine wave the output magnitude is significantly smaller uh, up to about 20, uh, 20 seconds or so uh, than what you put in. So, what comment can you make about the phase shift? You have first order RC filter, you are putting in an input sinusoid, the magnitude of the output sinusoid happens to be much smaller than what you put in. What comment can you make about the phase shift that you should expect between the input and output? What large? I mean, close to? I yeah, should expect a phase shift close to 90 degrees, and the, you know, uh, this is uh, uh, indeed. Uh, what that computation shows you right. If you find the real part of h and the imaginary part of h and then plot I mean convert them into polar form and plot the magnitude and phase you can see that the magnitude is, uh, is very small something like 0.25 or something right and the phase shift is since the magnitude is so small you should expect the phase shift to be somewhere about 90 degrees correct. Okay, so, what I plot is the negative of the phase shift. So, uh, that is indeed uh, true and uh, the next thing is when the resistance goes low, we see that the uh, what do you call uh, the magnitude is, is uh, of the sine wave is uh, I mean is has significantly increased and it has increased to say some 0.9 or something like that. So, now you should expect the phase shift between the input and output to be much smaller and that is indeed uh, 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 what uh, seems to happen in steady state right. And uh, when the resistance goes back up again you see that the magnitude goes back uh, to be uh, you know 0.25 or, uh, or whatever and the phase shift goes back to be goes back to uh, to being about 90 degrees right and during the transition both the magnitude and the phase do do weird things I mean and that is how.